Shalom and a blessed Monday to every one of you. Praise God again for Monday. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. And today I want to take you to a wonderful psalm. And in this psalm, there's a particular a scripture that just somehow, you know, illuminates itself to me when I was reading it. And I thought, wow, this is something so wonderful that I want to share with you for this Monday and for this week as well. So let's go to Psalms and chapter 5 and verse 3. And the psalmist says, my voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you and I will look up. So the psalmist here says, Lord, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing that I want to do is to greet you good morning. The first thing that I want you to hear is that you will hear the sound of my voice. And what a wonderful, uh, passionate devotion that the psalmist had that he wants God to hear his voice the first thing that he wake up. Hallelujah, every day. And so, you know, God looks at us, the one who watches over Israel, neither slumber nor sleep. And God is like a loving parent, a father that watches over his children. And he will just look at us, you know, earnestly with eyes of love. And when we wake up, when we open our eyes, and the first thing that comes out from our mouth is God, good morning. Jesus, good morning. Holy Spirit, good morning. Holy Spirit, I love you. And this is what the psalmist is saying. My voice you shall hear. Now he's saying that my heart will be focused. You will have my attention and you will have my affection the first thing in the day when I wake up. And remember, what determines your attention will also determine your affection. And then he says here, I will direct my voice to you and I will look up. Look up to where? And some people, when they wake up in the morning, they look up to the ceiling. Perhaps you are looking for a lizard in the ceiling or you are looking for cobwebs. Some people are just you know, looking up at the ceiling and they were just blank. I remember many years ago, I, I had a, a friend uh, in the mission field who, who said that he wants to do his devotion in the open sky, I mean in, in the open air where he can look up to the sky so that he can see God, you know. And so my question to you is, what does the psalmist say when he says, I will look up? The word look up here in the Hebrew is a very peculiar word. And the word is safar. And you will find this very same word used by Habakkuk the prophet. And let's go there quickly in Habakkuk in chapter 2 and verse 1. And Habakkuk said in chapter 2 verse 1, he says, I will stand my watch. I will set myself on the rampart, or on the tower, or on a high place, or a secret place, right? And watch to see what he will say to me, and what I will answer when I'm corrected. So Habakkuk is saying, I will watch and see. The word watch there is the word safar. It's the same Hebrew word being used in Psalms chapter 5, verse 3. I will look up. So the word watch or I will look up safar in Hebrew actually means to peer into something or to gaze into something with anticipation expecting to see what you are seeing oh let me put it in this way hallelujah that you will expect a result of what you are waiting for you get that so 
I, I call this, I call this safa, this, this term, I, I, I have a term for this, I, I call this the constant piercing gaze into the dimensional realm of the spirit. It is the word that's also being used as beholding the Lord. So when we behold the Lord, when we suffer the Lord, when we pierce into, into the dimensional realm of the Spirit, when we lean forward with anticipation to see what we are expecting to see, then we are able to behold the beauty of God. We are able to anticipate His presence. And that's what the word Safa means. And so, the psalmist says again in Psalms 5 and verse 3, he says, Lord, I will direct my voice to you. I will give you my praise the first thing I wake up. Whether you wake up early in the morning before the sunrise, or maybe some of you, you will sleep late, you, you wake up <laughs> maybe before lunch is served. <laughs> and so whatever the time is, when the first thing that you do when you wake up is that you will just give God your praise, your greetings. That you will just, you know, channel this chorus of thanksgiving and appreciation to your Creator and your Maker and the lover of your soul, that you will greet the Lord and that God will hear your voice the first thing in the morning. I remember many years ago, I was seated at my desk early in the morning before the sun rises and, and birds were, you know, birds were, were chirping. You know, birds, they, they would chirp the bird songs uh, when the sun rises and when the sun set, right? And the birds were chirping away outside the window and I heard the Holy Spirit say this to me. He says, the bird were praising me. Can you just imagine that? God's creation were praising Him. The birds were chirping away a melody of praises in their bird language, in bird songs under the Lord. Now, how much more does God expect us, His choice creation, to praise Him, to acknowledge Him, to greet Him first thing in the morning? And so let this Monday be the first day of the week. If it's a working day for you, it's the first day of the week. That you will start to greet God the first thing you wake up. And let it be for every day of your life. And then it says to look up. To suffer. To suffer means to look with anticipation. To look waiting for God's presence to, to manifest itself. To look for God's greeting to look for his answer remember this when you speak to god and you have a salah moment of just pausing in the spirit being still in the spirit waiting on the lord god always reply hallelujah now the word of the lord for us today is this when you know how to look up you will be able to look at and to look through everything in life throughout that day. I repeat that again. When you are able to look up to God the first thing in the morning, then you'll be able to look at everything in life and to look through everything in life throughout that day. Why? Because you will have God's eyesight. You will have God's perspective. You will have God's understanding. You will have God's wisdom. And you will have God's revelation concerning everything that your eyes set on throughout that day. And you'll be able to look through whatever problems, whatever challenges, and you will find solution and answers to that which you are looking at. Did you get that? That's wonderful. So when we look up to God, we are able to look at everything and to look through everything with the eyes of God. Hallelujah. And so let this be uh, our prayer. Let this be our constant, 
our continuous and consistent devotion unto the Lord that every day that when we wake up, regardless of what time it is, that the first thing that we do before we get out of bed is that we will greet the Lord our God, that we will greet the lover of our soul with a simple good morning, with a simple I love you Father greeting, or I love you Jesus greeting. Or you may want to just, uh, you know, uh, sing a short hymn of praise unto Him. Uh, Hallelujah. Praise God. And remember that before you look at anything else, the first thing when you open your eyes, look up to God. Look up to Him. Acknowledge His presence. And you will see that His presence would accompany you throughout the entire day. And as you look up, you'll be able to look at and to be able to look through everything in life with the eyes of God. And so let us pray. Father, I thank you for the word today. I thank you, Lord, just as uh, Prophet Habakkuk would set himself up in a high place, in a secret place. Lord, and he would wait on you and he would look up to you. He would pierce, Lord, into the spiritual dimension. Lord, with such anticipation and longing of his soul. And Lord, he will wait on you that you will come and answer and give him visions and give him sound wisdom and oracles. Lord, just as the psalmist echo that and says that, Lord, you will hear our voices early in the morning. Lord, that we will look up, that we will give you our attention, we will give you our affection, that we will channel our thoughts toward you the first thing of the day, Lord, as our first fruit offering unto you. Then we know, Lord, that throughout the day, our life would be blessed, our day would be blessed, and we can echo with the psalmist that say that this is indeed the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it because we look up to the Lord every day. So the Lord bless you and take this as a constant reminder that first thing that you do in a day is look up to God and let Him hear your voice and remember when he hear your voice, you will also hear his voice. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, Amen.